Alright, this is HV10 coming down. But this is HV10, right? I'll show you, man. Because this one here, yeah, it's got like black seat part refits. I've seen it only recently. Oh, no, that's not only H. That's not HV10. Right. Yeah, I, I, just, I can just tell from the window outline that's not HV10. That's probably an LJ11. It's an LJ11. I don't even need to see. I know it's an LJ11 and not some 62. See, bro, I can just tell, man. HV46, man. Other, pe other people will be like, HV46. Other people will be like, oh, all of them look the same, bro. Nah, bro, I can tell by the minor differences, man. If that was, a, I could tell if that was an LJ62 or an LJ, like, what's the other one they got? LT63, is that? Dartford, didn't it? Yeah. I could tell the difference, man. HV10 is the only one that has the red outline um, by the front window. And with the HV, which with the HV, um, with the um, second gen HVs, the LJ62 pluses, 2012 plus ones, yeah. They've basically got the front um, upstairs uh, handlebar that's joined to the front window. I mean, that's right behind the front window. Basically, on the second gen ones, it comes down to the bottom and there's black um, guards on it. But the first gen ones, it's just like a straight pipe. It's a straight like, it's a straight, like it's a straight bar and there's no black gardens on it. That's what's with the LJ11 first gen ones and the LJ60 um, HV10. And it's interesting now Dartford has got um, HV10 as well because 10 is in the, in the name and then it's also built in 2010 and it's also got a, a 60 plate which is like stands for like it fills in for the 2010 year period so that bus has got nice coincidence it's got nice coincidences about its character because what bus do you see that's got like the ending of the year was built in the flipping fleet number. That's crazy.